Edward and Gordon. One of the engines in Edward's shed was called Gordon. He was very big and very proud. You watch me this afternoon, little Edward, he boasted, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. Just then, his driver pulled the lever. Goodbye, little Edward, said Gordon, as he puffed away. Look out for me this afternoon. Edward went off, too, to do some shunting. Edward liked shunting. It was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a pull. Oh, 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 screamed the trucks. Whatever is happening? Then he would stop, and the silly trucks would go bump into each other. Oh, 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 they cried again. Edward pushed them until they were running nicely, and when they weren't expecting it, he would stop. One of them would be sure to run on to another line. Edward played till there were no more trucks, then he stopped to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. Gordon came puffing along, very slowly and very crossly. Instead of sh nice shining coaches, he was pulling a lot of very dirty coal trucks. A goods train! A goods train! A goods train! He grumbled. The shame of it! The shame of it! The shame of it! He went slowly through, with the trucks clattering and banging behind him. Edward laughed and went to find some more trucks. Soon afterwards, a porter came and spoke to his driver. Gordon can't get up the hill. Will you take Edward and push him, please? They found Gordon halfway up the hill and very cross. His driver and fireman were talking to him severely. You are not trying, they told him. I can't do it, said Gordon. The noisy trucks hold an engine back so. If they were coaches now, clean, sensible things that come quietly, that would be different. Edward's driver came up. We've come to push, he said. No use at all, said Gordon. You wait and see, said Edward's driver. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. Edward came up and behind the brake van, ready to push. Peep, peep, I'm ready, said Edward. Poop, poop, no good, grumbled Gordon. The guard blew his whistle, and they pulled and pushed as hard as they could. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, puffed Gordon. I will do it, I will do it, I will do it, puffed Edward. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. They puffed together. Edward pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could, and almost before he realized it, Gordon found himself at the top of the hill. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it, he said proudly, and forgot all about Edward pushing behind. He didn't wait to say thank you but ran on so fast that he passed two stations before his driver could make him stop. Edward had pushed so hard that when he got to the top, he was out of breath. Gordon ran on so fast that Edward was left behind. The guard waved and waved, but Edward couldn't catch up. He ran on to the next station, and there the driver and fireman said they were very pleased with him. The fireman gave him a nice long drink of water, and the driver said, I'll get out my paint tomorrow and give you a beautiful new coat of blue with red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed.